Okay, today I want to talk to you about something that's a little bit different. Um, and what I mean by that is I want to talk to you about investing. So recently we talked about investing in yourself. That talking about investing your time, your energy, and your money and learning and becoming a better person, better developer. And one of the things I want to talk to you is actually investing your money. Um, one way that I do it, I'm going to show you two different ways that I do it. And um, I tend to, when I give my advice and things like that, it's really instead of advising you, just telling you what I'm doing and you do with it what you will. So two, two ways that I, uh, well, before I talk about what I'm doing, why should you invest? Well, um, a lot of people, when they first start out, they're going to get a bigger paycheck than their previous job as a developer. That, that's probably going to be the case 90% of the time. And I don't want you guys to be... You, you made the smart enough choice to learn software. and Now make a smart enough choice to figure out what to do with your money. Don't ball out. Don't do a bunch of craziness. You know, For those of you who don't know, I invest about 50% of my check when I can. And uh, on the on the months where something came up, like I had to get an MRI for this hand, and I had to um, I bought a course, I invest 25%. So uh, it fluctuates between that amount. Now that April's working, of course, and we have two incomes again. Um, but when we when it wasn't, I was investing somewhere between 10 and 20%. And then, and the reason for that is it's just as important to have your money make money as it is to have you uh, become a better you. And that's essentially what you're doing. Have your money becoming better money. And that 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 gives you a lot of security because now you know that, hey, I have this nest egg, I have these investments, and the money may fluctuate up and down uh, depending on what type of investments you're doing. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have thousands of dollars to get started investing. When I first started investing, it was with $25, and it was about a year and a half ago, and it was with um, the second item we're gonna talk about, which is peer-to-peer -peer lending. But the first thing I wanna talk to you about is Robinhood. Uh, Robinhood is uh, traditional stock investing where you're buying stocks, and uh, I'll, I'll throw out my some, some of mine up here just so you can see that I'm not bullshitting you. And I've only been doing this about six weeks, but in terms of the app, it's very easy to get started. You basically search for the the stock that you want to buy. You buy it and you sit on it, right? You sit on it and you hope that it gains value. Stock market fluctuates. So when you are buying, when you're doing something like stock investing, plan to be a long-term investor when you're getting started, right? Long-term is safe. Uh, you know, stock market goes up, it goes down. Uh, Robinhood's great because it's on your, it's, it's a phone app. Uh, there's no fees to buy things. Traditionally, stock, when you buy stocks, you'd have to pay like a $10 fee. And when you're getting started, that's a lot. <laughs> because unless you're buying $1,000 a stock where, or something like that, you're, you're, you're going to lose uh, a good percentage. Now, you don't lose that percentage. And, and um, I, I use Robinhood for that. And I've been doing that for about five, five six weeks and doing quite well. I, I think I... Um, I was as high as up to 22%, and now I'm, I think I'm at 15 or 16%, which is still amazing for about six weeks. But I wanted to share Robinhood, and if you're interested in, in joining Robinhood, uh, there is, I'll put my link in the chat, and if you do that, uh, not only will I get a free share of stock that's somewhere between a $5 and $200 stock, my coworker shared it with his friend, and he got an Apple stock, which is $150, but you'll get a free stock, I'll get a free stock, and uh, you'll still download the app all the same. It's a completely free app. You just uh, buy and you're good. But again, when you do do stocks, just plan. I, I would say when you're getting started to have money that you don't that you don't need to pull out and that you can sit on and uh, use it as a opportunity to educate yourself for when you are maybe a senior developer and you're ready to you know invest five thousand dollars at a time or something like that. Um, I, I, you'll see from my stocks that the bulk of my uh, stocks are in tech stocks, AMD, um, Tesla, Facebook, Apple, a lot of all the stuff that I as a as a millennial and as a, a targeted demographic, I would say that I, I think are going to do well. Netflix, things like that. Um, just companies I think are going to be around a while. And that's more, that's more my gut. I'm learning more as I do this, reading articles, following the market, and becoming more uh, educated and uh, intrigued by it uh, as well. The other thing I want to show you, which you can start with as, as low as $25, but in reality, they recommend that you get yourself up to about $2,500, is peer-to-peer -peer lending. Now, with peer-to-peer -peer lending, what's great about that is 
uh, the way that it works is essentially you're lending money out and you're getting an interest rate back. So you're lending, this is a long-term thing as well, but you can get started for as low as $25, but again, you want to have more, essentially you're buying shares of a loan. So if there's a $10,000 loan, it's broken up into, um, or we'll say a $2,500 loan, it's broken up into 100 shares of $25. So you buy a $25 share, and then you get interest based on that $25. And that's a loan, so it's three to five years, and you can't pull it out early because you lent that money. You didn't like invest it into stock market, and you could sell it back, even at a, at a, at a discount if it's a bad market time and you need the money. So this is definitely long term, but you can earn a, de a decent percent. I believe I'm earning about eight to 10% on these on average. And uh, right now I'm debating if I want to, I have my auto invest turned off because I'm debating if I want to leave it in there. Uh, but one of the, or, or have it just uh, continually invest. But uh, so right now I'm basically getting like a $150 check every month. Uh, if I were to leave it out from what I have invested. But this is how I started investing because it was a, a low risk in my opinion and a a low a low effort, a low barrier of entry where I could buy $100 or four shares at a, at a time, 10% uh, of my paycheck at a time where I could go invest it and then forget about it in the next paycheck and set up, you can set up auto invest and things like that. I don't have a affiliate link if you're interested for doing this, but I encourage you to check this out as well. This is more long term, so I, w I would say, unless you're already very financially stable, you might want to hold off on this because uh, I'm finding that I have about you know several thousand dollars in this that I would like to transition to the stock market now that I'm in a financially better place, and I don't have that luxury because I committed to three-year loans for all of these. So keep that in mind if you are gonna do peer-to-peer -peer lending. Um, but uh, I, I like that as well. But now that we've talked about two ways that I invest and why I like it and things like that, I just want to make sure that people are making good decisions. That's really all it is, man. And you can invest other ways. Um, I want to remind people that if you keep your money in a savings account for a year and you're getting you know one tenth of one percent a lot of the times, you're actually losing money. The value of that money is going down. So I keep less than about $1,000 in my in my savings account most of the time with the ability that if I need to, I can pull more money out. And the reason for that is statistically speaking, if your money's not making money, it's actually losing its value because of inflation. And you know, inflation varies two to 3% a year on average, but by you leaving that money in your savings account, you're really not, you're losing money in terms of what your money can actually buy. And instead, what you should do is take your already, your already hard work, because that's all money is. Money is energy, it's it's time, it's, it's work, so all those things, and use it to go and get some more time, energy, and work that you don't have to invest your time, energy, and work in. And so one of the things that I've always been doing very well is living below my means. Partly because I was so broke, right? And so uh, being so broke and uh, you know, not being able to uh, treat myself very often and not being able to you know, buy groceries all the time and do all these things, you, you, you learn to live without. And because I've, I've been able to keep my expenses low, I have, a, I, I, I have very little debt. And because of that, I can invest more and, and I can save more and I can... I can um, not have to worry about having such a big stockpile of cash on hand for my massive amount of bills. So I want to remind you, just please try and live below your means. And if you can, invest, man. If you can, save that little bit of money. Save, save 10%, save 20%. And when you get those raises, increase the amount that you can. I'm not saying go to, don't go out and treat yourself. You'll see right here I have my, my HTC Vive. I was able to get that while still investing between 25 to 50 percent of my income, and that's a lot, right? But if you need to start at five percent, start at five percent. You need to start at 10 percent, start at 10 percent. But much like when you want to get your foot going, when you want to get started in life, by the time you're in that mindset, for most people, uh, it's always it's already a little bit discouraging because you're not where you want to be, and you're gonna feel probably the same when it comes to investing and things like that where you said you're gonna look and say damn man i i could have had the 20 this twenty thousand dollars i spent on a brand new honda civic instead of getting a 
you know, a, a $10,000 new car, I got a $30,000 new car, and that, that extra five dollars $6,000 I could have saved every year, I could actually have invested it, and five years later, it'd be worth 15000 you know, in a, in a good situation or something like that. So I just want you guys to, to know that I hope that you're not only investing in your in yourself, but also investing in your future financially because it's 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 as important, especially when you're going from some a lot of people don't like talking about money. A lot of people think, oh, that's a that's a dirty, dangerous talk, right? Stuff like that. I don't think so. I think there's a lot of people I think that's I think that's a very bad mentality to have because if we don't talk about these things. You don't learn. You don't know how to get better. You don't know how to save. You don't know how to plan for your future. So I hope you're planning for your future, because I am, and I want I want us all to succeed. Uh, we're all in this together. I know a lot. There's a lot of pessimism in the world. That's okay. We can't do anything about that. We can only control ourselves and those around us. And um, I consider the people who watch my videos some people that I can help, and at least I can deliver a message. If you're gonna, if you're gonna, if you're gonna listen, that's on you. I wish you all the best of luck. I hope. I hope uh, you, you guys are saving and investing. And if you're investing in other things that I don't know about, I know some people are doing cryptocurrencies. I'm, I'm, I'm a little skeptical on that. That's a gamble as far as I'm concerned. But if you're investing, let me know what you're investing in. I, I'm, I'm eager and excited to see. But uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to join our Facebook group, Cotech and Caffeine. And don't forget to, to uh, join the Discord channel. And the keyword for the day will be Robin Hood for a course giveaway it's been a little hectic i still need to give some out and i believe we have two more weeks worth of courses and then i'm gonna have to figure out if i'm going to buy some or i've got to find a new sponsor so uh definitely keep in touch guys but uh well i have some books as well i'll be giving away uh, on python and javascript so look forward to that but uh thank you again I hope you guys are staying true and staying on the right path i'll see you guys next time hey guys thanks for watching the video Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.